And he was hit as he threw it there and forces it incomplete. Pressure, and that's certainly going to be a key to this game going forward. And that time, they're able to get in here and influence the throw, remember? Quarterbacks got to get rid of it. They don't have the tough hole that they can pull it back on anymore. So second down and 10, once again, they'll go for the 40. Off the play fake to Jones. Here's Rodgers. And he was able to get open there, but that's not always easy against this bunch defensively. We are deep enough into the season where numbers count. This is number one rated defense in the NFL. They'll have a tough time. On first and ten, here's Rodgers. Got an open man. It's Valdez Scantling. That catch gets for only a couple. And forget about the run that set up the pass. They're just coming out throwing. Forget trying to set anything up. They feel like they have the advantage. They feel like they have the matchup. And they're just attacking right now. They're going to the air on the opening drive. Quick throw call out line by Valdez Scantling. And they lose yardage here, back at the 47. A yard in the wrong direction, makes third down tougher, third down and nine. Made the quick throw there outside the numbers, and you can feel the thought process. They just want to get in his hands and let him make a play. But how about the job they did defensively to keep him bottled up? Instead, they tackled him for a loss. I can't believe it. For as big and strong as some of these guys are, especially when you see them in full pads, it is sometimes hard to appreciate how truly fast they can move. That was incredible. Well, in this league where coordinators worry so much about drawing up the right routes, blocking assignments, misdirections and stuff, they have these precise errors and movements. Sometimes the best play just comes from the schoolyard. You look at your fastest guy and say, go, go, go get it, big man. And according to Next Gen Stats, his top speed on that one, better than 20 miles an hour. And out comes the kicking team here for the extra point. Denied. And his team is open, but that kills over this week as well. They go 
Shotgun now for Rodgers. And that's going to be 
incomplete. Two tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. It leads to second and ten. Line of scrimmage again the 37 as they line up second and ten. Looking left sideline, but it's incomplete. Brings up third down and ten. And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. Throwing his Rodgers on third down. Setting up the screen here, Aaron Jones. And he can only get this to the 42 yard yard line. These two teams all tied after one. On fourth down, J.K. Scott ready to put it away. Back deep, Jarvis Landry. And the win last week won it four times as this one's away. And that one he was hoping for there as this is hit in the end zone for a touchdown. The offense trots back out there. Let's turn our focus now to Nick Chubb. And he's sure looking like a lot for a thousand yard season. Don't know if he's going to get it in this game, but he probably would like to just to get past that point. Yeah, and if he does it, as you noted, there's still time, still opportunity. There's still more games to be played. So, yeah, it's not long. But barring in here, it sort of looks like he's going to get it. It's been quite a season, still a couple chapters left in that book. From the 22, here's second and eight. Working out of the game with Mayfield. And he'll take a shot. He's got a man complete. And he makes it all the way down to the 31. Now, after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. While he gets attended to, we'll step aside. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and ten just outside the 30. They run low on the shot. And he'll be brought down at the 27 yard line. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Well, the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four yard run, so the offense got to have to feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run. But the goal is to shut it down for two yards to run. That's when he started to feel good about himself. A gain of 13, it's a first down. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and turn his legs. For a really nice pickup. <laughs> Line of scrimmage, the fifteen, it's first and ten. Staying on schedule, staying ahead of his sticks, whatever you want to call it. Seven yards in first down. That fits the bill. So they'll come up after the game of seven on a second and three. On the ground, what's the count? He's hit pay during a lot this year, but not that time. Yeah, I'm tracking right there with you. You're exactly right. He's found the end zone plenty of times. No way I can find any fault with the call. He may not have scored there, but of course you're going to give it to him.
The Packers bringing in an extra number of the secondary here to try for the third down stop. And this is caught. Touchdown. And he's closing in on that number that all running backs circle beginning of the year, the number 1,000. Could do it on this drive. And you have to think to yourself, at this moment, getting to this spot, it started in the offseason, right? Not just the workouts, right? Not just getting yourself physically prepared to play, but mentally, as well as your team, as well as your unit, head coach, offensive coordinator. We run the football. We give you opportunities. He's taking advantage of it. And when you get this close to the mark, you just hope things don't tighten up, right? You probably want to get there and get it in your rear view mirror. You really do, though, don't you? Because now it becomes too dominant, and you wonder about what you're going to do as well. Do you want to get that out of the way? Do you still have plays to win? 
the game first. That becomes the first game.
interception Mayfield. Alabama for here, and this will be gone. And they'll burn the timeout with five seconds left. A chance to try to add three points before heading to the locker room. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. Here, Garrett knocks it right through, and they will open things up a bit more. It's 24 to 7. So, as it turns out, a two play drive resulting in the field goal. So, a late turnover leads to a quick drive, and in turn, that quick drive leads to three points. So, someone makes a mistake, but how about the other side learning from that mistake, taking care of the ball, and making sure they put some points on the board? Well done. Bro. They line up to kneel on it. The final second ticks by, and that's going to do it for the first half of play. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. We'll get back to you and Charles in a minute. But first, time to give the folks at home a look at what's going on around the NFL. We'll get, we'll get started, started over at the Mercedes-Benz Superdome, Benz Superdome in, New in New Orleans, where it was, where the, was the Saints who come away with the victory at home. Kareem Hunt, Hunt over 100 yards, yards in the victory with two, with two touchdown, touchdown runs, runs as well. As well. Next, Next, we'll take, we'll the, take trip the trip north, north, to north to the Steel City, City to, check to check on the Steelers, Steelers at home in Pittsburgh. And they were winners in their ball game as they were able to handle the visiting New York Jets. James Washington, a good game there. And, and one, one final, final game, game to highlight. To highlight. We, wrap we wrap things, things up, up on Monday, Monday Night, Night Football. Football. And they've got and a they've good, got one, good this one this week. week. Between, Between the, the LA, LA Chargers, Chargers and the Dallas, and the Dallas Cowboys. Cowboys. In the game, the game you're, you're watching, watching it's been Baker, Baker Mayfield, Mayfield with a strong, strong first half. half. His three his touchdown, touchdown passes, passes have, have his guys out in front. As we hand things back over to Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Just getting the play off. 
Oh my god. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get an increased snap. He locked in on his target. But he was covered quite well. And that one's incomplete. From the 34, they'll come to the line on second and 10. Throw it. Mayfield. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackles made at the Packers 40. A good pick up there, 26 yards. And that was good protection there. No, that was great protection there because it allowed him to lock in on his receiver. Although I think he was looking for his tight end on the corner route all the way. Nice connection there for a really nice game. So into Packer territory now. Here's first and ten. Right at the 40. Now jump out. And right up getting four down to the 36. On every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. A lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game. Trying to establish the inside run. Run with toughness now. Hopefully get to the perimeter later. And let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. Following the pickup of four, you're second and six. And get a jump. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Give them 14 on that one, and a first down. Well, that last one makes this a 100-yard night. I've loved the way he's hit the holes. He's been quick, he's been decisive, and he's been a whole lot of fun to watch. Touchdown of the second half scored against them. They were down at the half, 
Now, as you now mentioned, you they're down, down a little bit bigger, bigger but no time for discouragement. Just got to get back to it, right? Put your shoulder against the boulder and start stretching, and try to get back to where you were to start the half. Rodgers now on first down. He's going to run up and air now. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had tapped him. And still second down. Green Bay, Wisconsin is the spot. Third quarter inside Lambeau. Glad you're with us. Second and ten. Now this one is tight in on the right side. Shake it and maybe even a second before you have to try to make a tackle on the big game. 
And he'll go dead the right around the 47 this time. And carries like that, that's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? New set of downs, clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to attach his mask and have a front. So, guys, keep pounding on Let's keep the ball, keep that offense on the sidelines. And let's close this one out. Foul move the sticks for the Browns, a game of 12. No doubt those are the tight securities they're looking for here, Charles. A lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point in the game. That means it really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you got to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. So not quite a first down just yet as they come up on second and less than a yard. And again, they go right back to their fullback. And he'll go down to at the 28. Well, get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. I don't know about you, partner, but on second and inches, a lot of the times I'm worried about the offensive guys thinking about taking a shot down there. Instead, they just hit it to the big man and let him hold before for a first down. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. It, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down the game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. And he's got this pretty close to a first down as the tackle is made at the Packers' 21. And he continues to pile up the yardage. That puts him over about 50 now. And this defense has really had his problems trying to keep him contained. And yeah, they'll let their fullback try and push the ball. And he gets the first down yardage before he's brought down just outside the 10 at the 11. They get nine out of that one, and as a result, the drive continues. This is where, in the fourth quarter, you got the lead. You give it to the big guy. Defensively, kind of sucks the will out of them, doesn't it? Because they don't want to tackle him right now this late in the game. Well, you say that with accusatory tones, <laughs> but you're exactly right. I know it's not something we actually want to talk about, but as a defender, four quarters worth of trying to bring people down, four quarters worth of pounding. Now, late in the game, here comes that big guy coming at you, and a lot of guys are wondering where they want to come up and make that tackle at this stage of the game. Credit him with a one yard gain there to make it second and nine. That's someone who's pretty happy right there. That's the defense coordinator. Body after body getting to him before he can get started. Now second and nine from the ten. On the game, this is their throwback. Yeah, he'll work free from one tackle, but that's about all as he's taken down. A gain of two there on the heels of a one-yard pickup on first. They're pretty good spot right now with a convincing lead. I think this is where they put on the boxing gloves start to try to pound them into submission. And the offensive line, they've controlled this game. I don't see why that trend would change now. On third down, it's Nick Chubb. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. So the Browns in possession of the football here as we get you reset. They've got a fourth down there to get and they are going to score again. Yeah, they put up another touchdown. This is the best case on the other two attacks.
The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Fielding near the back of the end zone. And he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. Defensively, you said coming in earlier in the broadcast, the magic number was 20 points for you. That's what you thought they would have to hold this offense to or, or less than that. And, and wow, they've done that in a big way, haven't they? Not only have they done it, they put themselves in a great position to win this one because holding them down is paramount. If they can get it done... Well, guess what? We see the end result. Right now, they have their eye on victory. And leading here in the fourth. Try to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to ball. And that play goes nowhere. He's met behind the line. And a penalty flag may add insult to injury. That hold coming from the left side of the line. Hands got caught in the cookie jar on that one, and the flag came out. Penalty against us. They're backed up here with a first and 20 now after the holding penalty. Working from the gun, Rodgers. And he's got his man on the edge. And able to get this across the 20 before going out of bounds. All that practice time came to fruition on that play. All those testing rounds that they've worked on through training camp, OTAs, mini camp, and just regular season. They got it done on that day. Out cut, ball was delivered, and picked up the completion. Now, the full here on second down, but that's complete. The Packers are going to use one of their timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. Second down pass play only went for two. One final try off for Rodgers. 
Out of bounds. So Cleveland able to come away with the victory here. And you know, it wasn't a shutout. They did give up the points in the first quarter, but second, third, and fourth quarter, they held them scoreless. Brandon, if you throw a shutout for quarters two, three, and four, you're going to win a lot of games in this league. And this felt a lot like, almost like if you say baseball, and the pitcher goes through the lineup the first time, and the hitters get to see him, and then they come out after that, and the bats start blazing, right? I think they saw their best stuff in the first quarter and just shut everything down from that point. What a great convincing performance. So for Cleveland, they remain as good as anyone. 6 0 now for the first month and a half. And they'll get another road test next week as they head to Baltimore to take on the Ravens. Meanwhile, for Green Bay, they dropped just their second game so far as they fall to 5 and 2. And they'll get an extra week to think about it as the midseason buy might be coming at just the right time. Thank you. 